place while I was driving to visit my girlfriend one night. We lived about two hours apart from each other, and I was planning on spending the weekend with her. The first hour of the drive is mainly highways, and the last hour is tight back roads. I was on the last hour of the drive and drinking coffee to help keep me awake. The road was mostly empty, except for the occasional passing car and I was keeping to the 25 mile per hour speed limit. I was switching to a new podcast in my car when I noticed something up ahead. It looked to be some sort of figure standing on the side of the road. I slowed down and noticed that it was someone dressed in a rabbit costume. He was standing on the shoulder of the road. Now I've seen enough horror movies to never stop on a back road and check out the weird sighting. However, I did slow down to almost a crawl because I was super curious. As I got closer, I noticed that it wasn't just any rabbit costume. It was a creepy, worn out, full body rabbit suit. It looked like it had seen better days. The head of the costume was what really got me though. The eyes were these empty, soulless black voids, and the mouth was twisted with a toothy grin. He was maybe 15 yards away from me at this point. He was just standing there, not moving, not waving, not doing anything. I started to get that gut feeling that something wasn't right and started to speed up. As I did, the person in the rabbit costume walked into the middle of the road. I slammed on the brakes and could hear my tires screech. The guy in the rabbit suit was just standing there, staring at my car with those empty eye holes. I didn't know what to do. I honked the horn and flashed my lights, but he didn't flinch, he just kept staring at me. I couldn't see his face through the costume, but I knew he was looking right at me. I began to slowly reverse, and as soon as I put some distance between us, he started sprinting at me. I put the car back into drive and drove straight at him. I hit him full on going like 20 miles per hour. He bounced off my car and flew to the side. For a moment, I thought about seeing if he was okay, but instead, I just drove off into the night. I'm not sure if what I did was right or wrong, but I didn't know what else to do. When I got to my girlfriend's house, I didn't mention what happened, but I couldn't stop thinking about it. Maybe it was just a prank, or maybe there was something more sinister going on. All I know is I'm alive and okay, and that's all that matters. Drive safe out there, guys, and always trust your instincts when something doesn't feel right. So this story happened last year. I work night shifts and usually get done any time after midnight. For reference, I live in a densely wooded area out in West Virginia. The drive back to my apartment is only 20 minutes, but it is all back roads. Usually at this time, there are no other cars on the road and I'm able to cruise on home. I was winding the bend on one back road when I had to slam onto my brakes. It was so sudden I almost lost control and crashed into some trees. I had to slam my brakes because standing in the middle of the road was this kid. He couldn't have been older than seven or eight. It was pitch black out besides my headlights and I couldn't really see his face. My heart was racing, but I pulled over safely, thinking the kid might be lost or something. I roll down the window, and the child is just staring at me. I ask if they're okay, and what are they doing out here all alone? He stood only a few feet from my car, but he didn't respond. I started to inspect him more closely. He looked dirty. He had mud in his hair, his clothes had holes in them, and he only had on socks. I get out of the car and walk up to him. I sort of guide him over to the side of the road in case other cars came by. I ask for his name and he remained silent. He didn't look hurt or anything, so I didn't understand why he was ignoring me. I noticed he was holding something in his left hand. It looked like strains of hair. At this point, I was seriously creeped out. I pulled out my phone to call 911 so this kid could get some help. I'm dialing the number into my phone, when out of nowhere, 
I heard this loud scream. It was a man screaming in the night. It was the most horrifying scream I'd ever heard. I decide I can't just leave this kid here, so I open the car door. I was telling him to get in for safety, but instead of getting in, he looked at me and said, that's my dad, he's calling me. The boy then bolts into the woods like some sort of madman. It was so fast I barely had time to react. My heart's pounding and I'm left there in the darkness, wondering what the hell just happened. I get back in the car and I hear that screaming again except it is much closer. I'm trying to keep my cool, but my mind is racing. The boy said that screaming was his father calling to him, but I wasn't sure. I decided I wouldn't be sticking around to find out and just drove off. I finally make it home safe, but I can't shake the feeling that something was seriously wrong back there. I don't know if that child was in danger or what his situation was. I never called the police because I don't even know what I would say to them. I take that same road home every day from work, and nothing like that night has happened since. I hope wherever that kid is, he's okay. It was around 2 in the morning and I was driving back home from a work event out in New Jersey. I hate freeways and highways at late hours so I specifically programmed my GPS to take back roads as I felt they were always safer. I'm not even an hour into my drive when, suddenly, I noticed a faint blinking light ahead moving toward me. It was moving fast, and at the last second, I noticed it was a guy wearing a red shirt on a bike. He had no reflectors or lights on his bike, and I tried to swerve aside at the last second. I wasn't fast enough. There was a loud bang as the biker collided with the front of my car. I hit him. It happened so fast, and I was sure I had just taken someone's life. Panicked, I stopped the car, grabbed my flashlight, and rushed out. I expected to see a mangled body on the road, but there was nothing, no sign of the guy I had hit. I was alone on the dark road, and the bike was lying there on its side. I checked my front bumper and could see the dent from the collision. I figured I must have hit him so hard that his body had flown somewhere in the dark trees. I was seriously terrified as I looked around, scanning the area with my flashlight. The guy had to be nearby right, or at least somewhere in the area, but there was nothing. I walked closer to the bike and that's when things got even weirder. The bike was damaged, and there was a small pool of blood on the road, but no sign of the rider. It was like he had just vanished. I looked for another ten minutes, for a body with no luck. I got back in my car, locking the doors. I called 911, and they told me they'd send a police car over. When the police arrived, they took my statement and examined the scene. They found the blood but couldn't find any trace of the guy I hit either. They told me they'd look into it and took my contact information. I drove home, thoroughly shaken and unable to sleep because I was almost certain I had killed someone. The next morning, I was visited by a police officer who told me that they hadn't found any reports of missing persons or accident victims matching the description I provided. It was like the guy had never existed. I don't know what I hit that night, but I'm certain it was real. I've seriously had a hard time coming to grips with this. This incident happened almost a year ago and still nothing has been discovered or reported. If I find anything out, I'll be sure to keep you updated.